Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So today's Swedish word is trash, which is in Swedish scrap. Scrap. Today I'm gonna try out some new products. So I'm gonna try out the Jouer foundation. I'm gonna try out a Natasha Denona palette, this Fenty highlight, um, and some other stuff. I don't. I think that that is like the only new stuff. So I'm trying out some old stuff, but then some new stuff. But before we hop into the video, I thought that I would just swatch all of the shades of this so you could see. But I have not applied lashes because this video is a complete mess. This is the strangest thing I have ever dealt with. Um, but I'm just gonna start off by swatching them. So. This is the shade Daisy, and I have this on my lid. Looks like that. Really, really pretty. Really, really love this shade. It's super, super pretty with a hint of glitter in it. Can I just... I wanted to compare it to my palette, the shade Thingling. I think that my shade is a little bit more purple. Okay, they are different. I thought that they would be a little bit more similar but no they're different so just ignore that and then we have the first matte which is sakura which i've used today we only have two mattes this one and then we have the shade botonic which is this one it's beautiful like almost duochrome it's the only one i haven't used today it has it's like a peach but it has a shift of pink as well it's really pretty um but as i said i haven't used it and then we have this horrible shade which is called blossom looks like that and then the last shade is called nude and that is the one that i have in my inner corner just ignore the top shade, the rest of them are the ones. I don't know if mine is old or something, I actually tried to look it up, but mine, uh, I'm gonna do a little close up of it, um, but mine is like completely set. It's sort of like a cream. I even tried to like, if I press this, it raises up. So they are sort of like cream shadows and they are not described as cream shadows. So I do wonder if it's just mine that it's bad or, I don't know. I have no idea, but I'm gonna contact Sephora and see if they can help me with that. But I'll talk about that more in the video, but I am just so disappointed. I even didn't put on lashes or anything because I'm actually gonna wipe this makeup off because I'm just so annoyed. But yeah, let's just hop into today's video because I know that it's a long one and I have a lot to cover. So yeah, let's just hop into it. I am so excited for today. You guys have already seen it in the intro, but I'm gonna use this and I don't have high hopes because I heard that it's not really good, but I have it, so I'm gonna use it. And I am going to start off with this shade right here. And I think I wanna do like that wing effect. Of course, my battery is about to die, but uh, let's just begin. So... I'm just applying this in my crease. So I'm dipping in once again and I'm just gonna apply it right here and then I think I need a stiffer brush. Because yeah, the pigment isn't that great. But yeah, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a stiffer brush. Let's keep our hopes up, shall we? So I'm going in again, but this time on a pencil brush. I'm gonna start under my eye. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna start under my eye and then I'm going back to my Morphe brush and I am just going to start blending the edges a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. I'm using circular motions. So I did this eye off camera and it took me quite a long time to blend this out. So they're not really that blendable, but I'm gonna continue and I'm just using a fluffy Morphe brush 
This is the M562 brush. So yeah, I'm just gonna spend the rest of my life blending this out. So I'm just gonna put down a little bit of a base. So I'm gonna take this shade now, and this is the shade Blossom palette. No, Blossom, I mean. And I'm using the same little fluffy brush that I used. This is a pencil brush. I'm using the same. I'm just gonna deepen this up. Oh, that was pretty. So, the funny thing is that I talked about this palette in one of my wish list videos, but the thing is that when I went to edit that video, um, I searched Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette, and it came up on Sephora, and I was like, but it's not on Sephora, but apparently it was on Sephora in Sweden, but it wasn't if you searched on it on their website. I don't know how they had put it in there, and there were only two left, so I was like, getting it because I remember that people like this and then um, I published my wishlist video and then I had this palette on its way home to me and so many people were like yeah you're not gonna like that that wasn't good like don't buy it and I was like oh, I already bought it <laughs> so um, maybe I should do a little bit of a better research next this is such weird formula. It's almost like it's a cream. I mean, you can't see that, but it's almost like it's a cream. It's so weird. Uh, and it got hard pan. I need to remove that hard pan. Do you see what I mean? It's, it's, it's so strange. I do have some tape here, so I'm just gonna try and remove that hard pan because maybe it was from when I swatched it. So here you can see, like, I think you can see the hard pan right there. So I removed a little bit of the hard pan. Um, I think actually it's gone down a layer, so I think I have to remove that as well. No, the, is this, I don't know if this is bad. Is this supposed to be like this? Because it's it's turning into a cream. It is a cream shadow. I'm gonna see if I can show you. Um, okay, I think you are in focus right there. But if I just take my finger and squeeze, it moves. I don't know if you can see that, but it translates like a cream. That is so weird. This also does that. Look at this now. And then when I press here, do you see that? I mean, I thought I bought an eyeshadow palette. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this out. But I did read on the website, um, and it said that it was eyeshadows and not creams, but they were very, very buttery. Like, yeah, they are buttery like creams. I have no idea why they did that. And it's so, like, now that I have it on this eye, um, it was easy to apply, but it was so much harder to apply on this. I haven't even gotten, like, a layer because now it won't really pick up. I'm actually gonna email my Sephora. We cannot return makeup in Sweden, but I think I might actually like email them and say that they're like creams. So they must have gone bad or something because my brush is now like oily because it's a cream. I've never had that happen to me before. And when you guys told me that this palette wasn't that good, I was like, okay, I went and 
watched some reviews and no one said this so this makes me feel like maybe this is an error on my palette only because I mean it's not it's not supposed to be a cream mine needs mine is probably defected or something I don't know it's so strange but yeah I'm definitely gonna ask for my money back I am not sure if if they will give it to me um, but I will contact them after I've done this uh, put on this makeup I'm just gonna take my fan brush and dust away all of the fallout and I'm gonna take this cream shadow under my eyes as well I'm gonna take a little bit of my Anastasia concealer This was such a letdown because when I heard that it wasn't that good, I was like, okay, um, it doesn't matter. I I promise I'll be able to make this work and it's gonna look good and everything. But now I just feel like my palette is gonna mold or something. It's gonna be real, really bad. And I'm sorry I got a little bit low, but I was just so, so disappointed, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna take the shade um, Daisy, which is this one on my lid. I'm not gonna use a glitter glue. Um, I'm just gonna apply this dry and see how it performs. Ooh, this shade though, that was stunning. This is very, very pretty and it contains like glitter. It's just, yeah, this is really pretty. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of this cream shadow that's bull. I'm just gonna apply this like so. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the other matte that we used. Just kind of lightly tap it over just to blend them in a little bit. I think I'm just gonna blend a little bit more. Like right here. And I'm gonna clean this up later on so you don't have to worry about that. <sighs> I want to take this beautiful shade under my eye as well because this was just stunning. This is sort of like a liquid eyeshadow. It's really, really beautiful. I have no idea what is up with this eyeshadow palette. It's just creams. Now I kind of have to like put my brush in and really dig into the darkest shade and then really like Scri scrape it on. Once it's on my eyes, it blends pretty good actually. It blends, it blends real well, but it is a cream. It's so weird. I have never had anything like it. Uh, this has really turned me off the brand. I don't want to try anything else from her and I'm not gonna try the gold palette. Even though I've heard that it's not the same formula or whatever, I'm just, I'm just, no, I just, I don't, I don't want to. As of right now, I'm feeling this. Hopefully I'll change my mind. Um, but like I, I really hope I'll get my money back because this it's it's something wrong with it but I have so many of these Jouer samples and I wanted to try Jouer's uh, foundation but I thought that I, I should try a sample first since I have it I can try it but I don't have that many light shades so I have this shade almond which is the lightest so I'm gonna try that okay um this is how dark it is oh it's very very liquidy I'm gonna use you as a mirror. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what we can do with this. I'm just in such a bad mood right now. <sighs> 
Okay, this is um, this is um, a perfect match. Can this get any better? So I'm gonna take a little bit of this because um, obviously I can't use this alone. This is the Essence Insta Perfect Liquid Makeup. This is way lighter than my skin tone so hopefully we can oh shit make them match a bit i took way too much i'm sorry i'm using as a viewfinder or uh, as a mirror i'm just gonna do like this or we want like stamp it in just like so and then i'm gonna take a um a sponge to blend this in I'm taking this sponge. This is the Sigma sponge. Do your ColourPop concealer also get like this? So I bought this ColourPop concealer a while back. Uh, maybe around six, nine months ago. I'm, I am so bad, but do you see how it's separated? I haven't even opened it yet. By the way, if you are interested in the uh, Joy foundation, this is way too light. Dark, uh, or it oxidizes, I mean. <laughs> it's not too light. This is just not my skin color, but... We're gonna make it work. So I thought that I would go in with this anyway because I feel like if I'm gonna do it one day, it's better be this day because it cannot get much worse than this. It doesn't smell bad anyway. So, um, yesterday, uh, in bed, me and Nicholas were going to bed and I was saying to him like, oh, it's time to um, for me to buy a new concealer because mine are running out. I don't have that many left. I think I have, this is my only full jar. And he was like, are you really running out or are you just running out? <laughs> and I was like, no, no, for real, I'm running out. Last year I didn't buy uh, a lot of concealers because I tried to use up the ones that I had within my collection. So. So now it's starting to run out a bit. I should take just a little bit more here, just to lighten the skin up a little bit. We're gonna be really, really highlighted today. So I'm gonna powder my under eyes and I'm gonna use my um, Essence Up Brighten Up Banana Powder, but this is what mine looks like. I've ordered a new one. Maybe I should suck my eyeshadow since that's also a cream. So now we are going to start and blend right here, just so we don't have this harsh line. I'm just gonna use circular motions and nothing is happening as you can see. <laughs> I'm just getting so annoyed. So I am going to, this looks disgusting. Uh, I'm just dipping in a little bit to this one. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my mascara under my lashes because to be honest, I am actually going to just finish off this video and then I am going to wipe away my makeup. So I'm not gonna apply lashes and I don't feel like blending this anymore because I'm just, um, I'm just so annoyed. And this is why I cut my lashes because now I have mascara all over 
all under my eyes, I mean. Um, so yeah, the mascara lumps I'm gonna remove later. Did I get even more now? Yeah. Fabulous. So before I throw this away, I am going to take a little bit of this shade in my inner corner. Just want to say this, that even though I am so annoyed, her shimmers are so soft. They're really, really beautiful. It's just the mattes that I am sad about. I mean, I... If... But her shimmers are really nice. I'm going to change brush. So for contour today, I'm going to hop into my Bahama Mama bronzer from Bahama Mama, no, from The Balm. I know it's patchy right here. I'm gonna fix that later, but as I said, I am going to wipe this off later. But I wanna take my ColourPop Alexis Ren bronzer. I haven't used this in the longest time, and I remember that I just used to love this. So I'm gonna go in a little bit with this one. Ooh, that's warm. but I do like it. I'm just bronzing up my neck a little bit. Just like so, so I can look a little bit more put together for the next 20 minutes before I wash this down the drain. I'm going in with a little bit of this. This is the Essence Strobing Highlight, but I use it a little bit more like a powder. Like for instance, right here, when I can feel that I've used a little bit too much bronzer. I'm just going over this. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not like it's a highlighter, so um, it's just when I feel like I've gone a little bit overboard. And then I like to have it on my nose. And then on my cheeks. Chin, I mean. So since this is going to shit anyway, I'm gonna use my Dose of Colors Fuego highlight that I've said many times that I don't really understand the hype. Hopefully it's a little bit better now. I will say it is better now. Maybe it was just the overlay, but I still, I still don't like, I don't think it's the best. And I just don't think it's that great. It's a little bit too dark to have here for my skin, actually. I just thought that when I went in with this um, dark foundation that maybe it could, 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 could work. Do you see how much the eyeshadow has transferred on my eyeliner? That's really um, annoying. So I wasn't that big of a fan of this one, I think. I'm gonna try this again. This is the Star Island highlighter from Ofra. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, this is, this is pretty. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. So when I feel like I've gone in with too much highlight, I'm going over it with my bronzer brush. Was it this brush I used? No? And then for blush, I'm actually gonna use a highlight. I'm gonna use this one. This is from Fenty. My beautiful friend Nessa actually was so kind and sent this to me. This is what it looks like. This is the one that I've been wanting for the longest time. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a mix of both of them. Mostly the pink though. Tapping it off, I'm using this on a blending brush or a highlight brush, I mean. I'm just going to try and like, see if I can blend this in and use this as a blush. 
Ooh, that is pretty. I'm only gonna stick to the pink. Ooh, that is pretty. So for lips, I just took a little bit of my lip liner from Milani. This is in the shade 9. And then I took my Sigma Liquid Lipstick in the shade Anti-Venom. And then on top of that, I took a little bit of my favorite lipstick from Colourpop in the shade Boy. So that is going to wrap up today's video. I had planned to film a little bit more, but I am just in a really bad mood, so I'm not gonna do it. Obviously you can tell what I think about the eyeshadow palette. The shimmers, super beautiful. I used, of all of the five sheets, I used four of them. I used everyone except this. Um, both the shimmers, really, really beautiful. Really happy with those. Um, better than I expected. So good. The mattes, horrible. Um, I want a refund. Natasha Denona, if you see this, what is up? <laughs> and then the highlight that I used for blush, this one from Fenty, really beautiful, um, better than I thought it was because I see that it contains a little bit of glitter and I love that. Um, I know that that is not everyone's cup of tea, but I personally really, really love that. The Jouer foundation, I mean, I can't really talk that much about it since I had to mix in a little bit of my other foundation. Um, what I can say is that I would probably set this if I would go out with this because I feel like it cracked a little bit right around here. It's not, I don't think it's sweat proof because I just started sweating just a tiny, 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 tiny bit right here before I put on my highlight and I could see that it had disrupted and I know that the, that is not the Essence foundation, but of course it could have crashed with the Essence foundation that they don't really mesh well together. So it could have been that. What else? No, I don't think I tried anything. Uh, yeah, I have a little bit of a higher thought about the dose of colors highlight but i still don't like it i think the i love sarah e one is way better so yeah that's gonna wrap up today's video please give me a like if you like the video dislike the video if you didn't like it i'm so sorry about my bad mood mood in this video just had higher hopes but yeah that's gonna end today's video so i'll see you guys in my next one bye